hi guys welcome to my channel my name is vc uh, if you're new here uh, my name is vc i'm a ugandan but currently based in canada uh today we're going to be looking at skin k yeah bro t of course i know there have been so many skin routines out there but this is a skincare on a budget not so much of a budget so if you're looking for a real real budget wrong place wrong place because you have to invest in your skin to look so good you know so as you can tell by the picture that i just shared i had acne on my cheeks um, most especially this side i had a rough breakout i had on my chin here and on my forehead so if you're interested in seeing what i did to get rid of that just stay tuned but first you know what to do subscribe guys how can i have like I, I expect to have 100 views, 100 subscribers. I thought that's how it works. I mean, what happened? Please subscribe. Come on. I'm giving you tips. I'm giving you ideas. Please subscribe. Yeah, let's get into it. So. So now I'm in the bathroom and I've reached home. I need to take care of myself, I need to take care of my skin, what am I going to do? Join me while we get into it, yeah? So first, uh, just to get the hair out of the way, uh, this hair was done, uh, for those in Vancouver, this hair was done by a lady called Mo, uh, the hair bar Vancouver, so in case you ever need to, she's a nice lady, in case you ever need to, you know, uh, reach out to her stuff like that Yep And the top I'm wearing I got it from H&M. So first things first um, Yeah, let me introduce you to my <laughs> Setup I know I'm, I'm still struggling with the setup, but just bear with me. So as you can see I have a nice setup here uh, Just with the products that I use for my skincare. So what happened is when I moved to Canada I found that not only Canada actually it was after visit Uganda. I don't know what happened, but the weather changed uh, really Was so bad on my skin that everything I was using was just drying it out and making it worse and worse So what I did I said, you know, and I was trying out so many products But the key to the to that maybe even though those products would have worked I wasn't consistent with that with them so I just need you to if you get a product stick to it give it some time to work and then you, if you see it's not working like probably after a month i would suggest a month not two weeks uh guys if you're here to watch overnight results you're on the wrong channel i don't encourage overnight results i mean you know so oh people said i should come close to the camera am i close enough hmm? am i close enough guys so what's the difference with this metal water is the fact that uh this has argan oil and uh, like I don't know if you can see but right now the argan oil just filters itself up. This actually helps me it, I don't use so much force trying to remove my makeup um, I have some cotton wipes here uh, Guys uh, in case you want to take your skin care routine to the next level uh, Like if you want to use exfoliating pads, there are some cotton pads that actually come with exfoliating beads so I don't know um, if you can see that these these have beads on them you can see they have tiny spots on them that's because they have beads on them yeah uh so those beads are like i don't i don't like using them okay maybe once in a while but uh it's not my favorite so i use the normal cotton pads um guys i forgot to remove my lash that is how these lashes are I like I, you don't feel like you're wearing lashes honestly these are like lashes from the fix i wear them these are in the type uh fomo i just hold at the end and pull off just as easy as that yep uh, I wear these in case like you know when you want to wear lashes, but you don't want the whole world to know that you're wearing lashes That's what I do So what I like doing is I like holding my Pad in so that it can soak in like, you know the excess makeup and not just wipe so I just
but I don't necessarily have to let the, uh, the cotton pad come off exactly so white because guess what my skin is still going through a second cleansing so that will clear off any impurities even the toner itself will continue so if you keep rubbing your face the first time like you with the first cleanser and keep rubbing and rubbing you're, you're going to be irritating your skin so just avoid the over cleansing so now that i've taken off my makeup uh, i'm just going to get into my robe and you know be ready to hit the shower after <gasps> oh my god <laughs> oh my god i just fell victim to the non-recording aspect of it so guys i've already applied but i'll just repeat that step because so this is what I did. I got the Chinese ginseng rice. It's a clarifying polishing mask. It's from Body Shop and it only costs about between I think 12 to 14 dollars. Yeah. So since I realized that I just I, I haven't been filming but I applied it. I just got an applicator which is this uh, comes with this applicator or sometimes you can get one of those fancy brushes if you're so bougie and just you know and just apply this uh mask it's a mask but it's not one of these feel uh this peeling of masks and i just wanted to show you that it has exfoliating factors and one one thing that i just wanted to say is when i had acne and oh sorry about that when i when i had acne and i just kept consistent with this routine what happened is that when my my pimples were healing and they left scars so this mask helped me actually to clear those particular scars resulting from all that so as you can see when i try to when i rub that because it has those beads already it's it's gentle on the skin but it's also trying to so washing with warm water i am trying to get off the mask now yeah and there we go there we have it i get my towel and I just pat yeah and as you can see nothing because remember the impurities that I told you had stayed previously that mask has already tried to clean that off so keep drying and after drying uh, because that mask has some bit of roughness on the skin uh, just to cool it down I will use the British Rose that is from still the body care shop guys if you want these products you just have to order online I think um, I was just talking to my friends who said that Ugandans need to get into the habit of ordering things online and not just waiting for uh, local suppliers to you know to rip them off in terms of uh, when it comes to prices and everything so this British Rose as you can see it look at that let me just pour that and you see oh yeah so as you can see it's going to be so gentle on my skin it's a plumbing a fresh plumbing mask yeah uh just for, so, so your skin can be a bit plump and you know so i apply that most especially around my eyes now you can see that i'm i'm applying around my eyes guys i don't have a facial brush so so me leave this on for like some 10 minutes because i can or if i don't have time five minutes you know so anyway so we're back and we're going to wash this off now and as you can see my skin is fresh and now time to prep my skin you know with all the other products that we have to use uh i have the toner like i said this is a water-based toner this is lancome uh this is my favorite toner ever because it is water-based it's not like most toners if you notice they're alcoholic uh i'll show you i love i love this brand i love clinique yeah so when when i got that breakout i was using this and it was just constantly drying me out but i realized that it, it actually has alcohol and it, they say here comfortable non-drying exfoliator that's that's a lie because when i was using it i was just constantly drying out drying out making my skin worse and worse and worse so let's stick to this water-based uh cleanser which is uh actually they say this is actually good for dry skin like if you have dry skin this cleanser is the best as you can see i've been using it so much uh, so much 
I, as you can see, I've been using it so much. So I'll just show you what the texture is like. Mmm. Oh, I love this. I love this. And so what I do, I just put it all over me. They say use a cotton pad, but I don't use a cotton pad because guess what? That means if I use a cotton pad, I'm going to use up my product more. And the accountant in me wants to save so much. So I use my fingers and I feel like it blends in more than when I use a cotton cotton pad. So I just slap this on. Yeah. Cause so any excess that I have, I just slap it on my neck. What's good for your skin is good for your neck, and what's good for your skin is also good for <laughs> for your hands. What's good for your <laughs> for your face, for your peachy, yeah, for your face, yeah. So there we go. And as you can see, I can either let that dry on, or I can move on to my next step. Now, now most people usually say uh, don't put the oils before the serum, but this is what I have to say. For me personally, because the the oils were targeting particular areas in uh, on my skin, I needed those oils to actually uh, go on before the youth activating serum or before the anti aging serum. If you know what I mean, yeah. So guys. I use two oils. I use so this turmeric oil is actually what I use so much to get rid of the excess um, uh, scars that I had here. As you can see, each each day I'm improving. Uh, I'm not 100% there, but you can see that each day I am improving. Yeah. Uh, if you see any new tiny scars, those are scars probably that I just had probably this month, or like I, I had a pimple and probably pressed it. So that's what uh, that's what you're seeing. So I use this turmeric natural face oil. Uh, if you have, this is like I think it, it evens the complexion and improves elasticity. Now the thing with this turmeric is very harsh, so you need to use it sparingly if you know what I mean. So. Another oil that I use is the rose hip oil. Um, so I use this interchangeably, but personally, I still prefer this for cleaning uh, the pimples out. And then this, when everything is back to normal, I use the rose hip oil from Olive Care. I get these oils from Winners because they are a good deal. But it doesn't mean you have to get this particular brand, guys. Remember, I'm not advertising any brand here. I am telling you, just get the turmeric um, face oil and just apply that after your cleanser. Yeah? So, all the rosehip oil. I haven't seen this in Uganda, but the rosehip oil says prevents dryness, boosts hydration, softens skin, and brightens. Now, this you can use as your vitamin C. I actually currently don't have a vitamin C in my routine right now because these actually acting as a brightening uh part uh ingredient just get that there and there and then on this other cheek like like i said very little yeah you don't have to, to prove a point that you have oil and sometimes you can use this oil as as, as a spot treatment like you only use that for the parts that are affected, if that's what you want, yeah. So, and you can see my skin is already soaking back in, yeah. So, please forgive me if I'm so rough. Even that that uh, Vogue interview I think for this now, Alvarez has been skincare routine. And so, oh my gosh, I've been so rough on that skin. I just have to go and redouble me. That's it. So, just um, I actually don't have uh, that stuff on my eyes because I use this. Yeah. So, remember any excess, any excess when you feel like this is too oily for you or anything, I just apply it right here. Yeah. How do I look? Hmm? Oh my god. Anyway. How do I look guys? Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that skin. As you can see, I have like a people that that's just coming because of next week uh, monthly problems. But as you can see, 
all is good yep and this is what i use uh, as my serum so usually i have a big bottle but because this came as a package for my day cream with my day cream i have the smaller bottle but this is still lancome uh the advanced uh youth concentrate guys i swear to this and i've seen like lancome has very nice skincare products that are good for black women so if you use that i think that's really good and the, i also like using lancome foundation because any skincare company that goes into foundation you just know that you have skincare in your foundation if you know what i mean it's not just about a formula that's just there to make sure that you have coverage it's there also to improve your skin so that's what i use okay so so for the serum i'm just going to spot it only on the parts you know that i need lifted mostly and any excess and usually uh sorry usually i put some on my neck because i believe <laughs> i believe what's good for your for your face is good for your neck <laughs> so and i just put those pots and yeah here we go Oh my god guys i don't know if you can see this oh my god guys my skin just looks so ah uh, and of course right now you, you may be like oh it's shining it's shining too much no it's not shining too much uh i have some light that's bouncing up on me so you're also seeing the reflection that is just perfect if you know what i mean last step my last step at night i don't usually like wearing heavy moisturizers so what i do before going to bed i use this um hydrating beauty mist because it gives me that extra moisture and i still wake up feeling so good in the morning so this is what i do i get it it's called refresh because you can use this on your makeup you can i actually use it on my makeup like on my beauty blender i use that as well or in the middle of the day if i need a pick me up instead of using like a setting spray i just use this because it's called refresh and it works wonders so what i do um this is from uh clarins so i just you know that is going to soak into my skin i don't need to tap it anyway if you know what i mean last but not least so that i don't look thirsty so that i don't look like god doesn't take care of me because my god he does so what i do some lip balm it's always good for you but for you move around the house with your dry lips hmm? get into the habit of having a lip balm anyway guys as you can see i can tell that my skin is actually looking that good that you can tell the spot this stands out from the rest of the skin and occasion i'm not saying that because you have a skincare routine you're not going to get these you're occasionally going to get them but how are you going to treat them and how are you going to treat the spots guys you saw my face but now look each day i'm improving each day that is disappearing and each day i'm getting back new skin so you can see i had also on my forehead i no longer have that and these spots on the new on, on my chin these are new spots like you know they'll go because i'm still sticking to the same skincare routine and that's what i'm advising you guys to do yeah so now that you have observed every curve of my face i can go back <laughs> Thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions just let me know down uh in the uh, comment section i'll be reading everything and i'll be taking in any criticism and positively and any of course be kind uh, <laughs> yeah so i'll be uh filming things like this uh from beauty to lifestyle to career to migration i have lots of content i'll be jumping around so don't expect one particular content from me one particular content type from me so yeah thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and yeah peace out